my work is definitely fascinated by seeing distance. And I almost see that view distance, the, the distance that you look upon, is a space you can never actually really be in. It's only a space that you can look upon. So what we're seeing over there in the horizon, is that real or is it imagined? Because we can never be there. We can never see it there, right in there, as we see it from when we're seeing it in the distance. For me, in terms of my process, what's really important is firstly that I can create my own space. I work in a studio called Gate 8, and so we set this up not just as a glass studio, but also with jewellery, photography, graphic design, and public artwork as well. That's really kind of important, that kind of dialogue that you get with working with other people. Continuum 4 is part of a, quite a big body of work that is influenced by visiting large salt lakes, including Katiatunda Lake Eyre. And being in these spaces, being there, there's an overwhelming sense of space, but also the light actually becomes landscape. And light is almost as important in glass as the glass itself. The landscape out there is almost a landscape of water, even though there is often no water there because it's the memory of water that is so potent uh, in the centre of Australia. My overall aim really for all my work is to give a sense of almost cerebral stillness. And so when a viewer kind of comes across my work, I really want them to feel the calmness and rather than me tell them an idea, uh, or a concept that they actually start noticing their own mind and own mind space. The process of Continuum 4 is actually almost like quite a fast process. I start off with sheet glass, it could be um, even uh, float glass. The surface is then uh, sandblasted so it has a tooth on it. Um, and then I fuse up in the kiln white handmade, very dense glass into a um, fat kind of patty. And then I grind this patty down with uh, a diamond grinder and make a slurry. And this, in some ways, is almost like my paint. Then I mix that with water and then use a hose, almost like a brush. And so I'm pushing the glass powder across the surface of the sheet glass. And once I've got the desired kind of patination I'm after, then I let that water evaporate. And through that process of evaporation, which can take like six hours, I then get marks, almost like uh, water marks, that also mark onto the glass. Once the water's dry, then I take the piece and uh, fire that in the kiln. And that's the first layer. And I'd probably repeat that process anywhere up to about four or five times. I'm trying to be almost in a meditative state to make like a brush stroke. And I've got a certain amount of control over it, but it's not exacting. So I really have to have a relationship with my material. So it's my control and the material. It's a real dialogue between the two. And that kind of fast um, balance to, between chaos and order is trying to capture the essence, with it, which is like in nature, the, the balance between an order and a chaos in nature.